What's going on guys? My name is Patrick Bacon and you're watching the one and only Bacon's Drinks channel here on YouTube. And today we're finally getting back into Tiki with yet another one of Jason Alexander's incredibly delicious concoctions called the Plank Owner's Punch. Now if you guys don't know who Jason Alexander is, I'll definitely recommend checking out the video I did on his incredible rum barrel cocktail. Um, I'll be sure to link it at the end of this video. I go a little more in depth on who he is, but as far as today is concerned, just know that Jason is a bartender at the Devil's Reef Tiki Bar in Tacoma, Washington. Now Jason is not only known for making incredibly delicious tiki cocktails, but he's equally as known for how much rum he puts in them. You can't drink too many of Jason Alexander's cocktails because they will absolutely put you under the table, even though you may want to because they are absolutely delicious. And today's cocktail is no exception. This cocktail contains a very powerful blend of rum, so I would only recommend maybe having one or two of these in a single night. Now, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get to making the cocktail. So we're gonna build this in a shaker tin today, and then we're gonna do two dashes of my Angostura and Absinthe mixture. This is half Angostura bitters and half Perno Absinthe Superior, and we're gonna do two dashes of this. All right. And then we're gonna do one full ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Always use fresh squeezed juices, guys. It makes all the difference in the world. All right, and then we're gonna do a half ounce of one of my favorite tiki ingredients ever, Don's Spices number two. Now real quick before I give this a pour, uh, this is one part vanilla syrup and one part allspice dram. It is worth noting that in Jason's recipe, he uses Hamilton pimento liqueur for his allspice component. And it's also worth noting that my recipe for Don's Spices number two is a lot sweeter than his. I basically fill up half this 12 ounce bottle with two to one vanilla syrup. I fill the bottle the rest of the, you know, three fourths of the way up with St. Elizabeth's Allspice Strand, which is significantly less proof and a lot sweeter than the Hamilton Pimento Liqueur. Then I fill the last fourth up with Hamilton Pimento Liqueur, uh, just to give it that little extra funkiness to really bring out the notes of those spices. Now don't worry guys, I'll put both my recipe and his recipe in the description, so be sure to check that out. All right guys, so like I said, we're gonna be doing a half ounce of Don's Spices number two, which is absolutely delicious. All right. And then we're gonna do a full ounce of two to one clover honey syrup. I always like to use clover honey in my tiki cocktails because clover honey has um, some very citrusy and very floral notes that I think pair very well with tiki ingredients. All right. And then last but not least, guys, we get to our powerful rum blend. We're gonna be doing one and a half ounces of Plantation Original Dark, which is an absolutely delicious rum, a full bodied, slightly sweet, it's absolutely incredible. All right. And then we're going to do one and a half ounces of Plantation Oil of TD. You heard that correctly. One and a half full ounces of Plantation Oil of TD, which is by far my favorite overproof rum on the market. All right, guys, that's it for the body of the cocktail. Let's go ahead and get to adding our ice. All right, guys, we're using Sonic Pebble Ice, as I always do for my tiki cocktails. And we're going to do one full rounded scoop of pebble ice straight into the tin. All right. All right, guys, let's put a seal in our tin. Let's go ahead and get to shaking. All right, that should be about good. Let's go ahead and get our zombie slash Collins glass ready. Uh, this is an incredible Stolen Idol zombie glass. I'll be sure to put the link in the description if you guys want to purchase one of these. And then we're going to roll all of the contents of the tin straight into our incredible Stolen Idol zombie glass. Now let's go ahead and fill the rest of the way up with ice. All right. All right, you may need to press the ice down as you go. All right, put just a tiny cap here. All right, and we're done. All right, guys, for standard fare, we're gonna be garnishing with some incredible mint sprigs that I grow in my backyard, as I often like to do with tiki cocktails. All right, let's go ahead and get our mint oils nice and fragrant. Go ahead and hit them against your hand or the back of your hand. To get those mint oils nice and expressed. And then we're going to put it right into our drink just like that. There it is, guys, the Plank Owner's Punch by Jason Alexander. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. I'm gonna go ahead and express that mint just one last time. It smells delicious. Mmm, that is so good. So there's actually a lot going on here. This drink tastes exactly like the sum of its parts, meaning that I can actually taste everything that we used in this recipe. 
First off, I'm tasting the absinthe and Angostura mixture, especially the absinthe. I'm getting some anise notes in there that are really showing through. It kind of reminds me and is kind of reminiscent of drinking a zombie cocktail. And then I'm getting a big hit of tropical spices from the Don Spices Number no. 2. Don Spices Number no. 2 is just one of my favorite uh, tiki ingredients of all time. I think it adds such a depth and complexity of flavor to just about any cocktail you use it in. And it's just absolutely a tropical and tiki spice bomb flavor of an ingredient. It's so good. And last but not least, I'm definitely getting the rum in there. Now you would figure with this much rum in a cocktail, it would overpower all of the other flavors, but somehow it doesn't. And the synergy of the Plantation Original Dark and the OFTD is absolutely magical. They play off each other so well. And overall, guys, this is incredibly balanced, absolutely delicious, yet powerful tiki cocktail. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more of my content in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And as always, if you could, please try to leave a comment. That really helps get the algorithm going. And I would love to hear you guys' feedback on anything. If you have any questions about the recipe or any of the ingredients, just let me know. Also, if you guys have any future video recommendations, let me know that as well. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got a lot of great stuff for you guys coming up, especially you Tiki heads. But other than that, as always, I hope you guys have a safe weekend. My name is Patrick Bacon, and I will see you guys next time.